I have something really special because I have collaborated with Premium Collectibles to bring you this special $200 Pokemon Cards Challenge Random Box Edition. Today, I'll be spending the whole afternoon buying Pokemon Booster Packs from four of the Premium Collectibles outlets across Singapore, namely Clementine Mall, West Mall, Tampanese Hub, and White Sands. There is no special rule or restriction other than I have to stick to a budget of $200. Other than that, I'm free to buy whatever booster packs I like, but you know, of course, I like to mix it up. And the reason we are doing this is we kind of want to change the impression that booster packs from rent -a box stores are not all that great. Traditionally, rental boxes get a bad rap because we don't know the origins of the packs and whether they may be subjected to any underhand tactics. So the guys from Premier Collectibles want to change that misconception well at least for their boxes and make sure it's a fair fun and convenient experience for all and by the way there's some chickens there anyway make sure you watch till the end for an exclusive discount code for you guys the members of the flip station all right guys first destination box boss at clementi let's go in all right so i'm at my first premium collectibles box now and as you can see we are stacked full of Pokemon booster packs and I have a budget of $50 in this outlet so let's start choosing. Okay so let me open this up and show you guys what we have. So we have celebrations fully stocked. We still have a uh, vivid voltage at the back. We got evolving skies, shining fates at the back, champions path as well. They are at 14 each. We got some Digimon and then there's even more. We got base set sword and shield. Uh, chilling Rain, Battle Styles, even the Chinese one. So there's so much selection, guys. They have single cards for sale. They have some tin, some sealed products. And this is their name card over here. Premium collectible, shout out. Okay, so $50, I really have to budget this. Okay, so the celebrations are at $9. I'm interested in celebrations in this outlet. Um, the VV Voltage and Evolving Skies as well. They don't have a lot of Evolving Skies uh, left. That is expected. I probably won't get any of the rest. So it'll be these three. So I'll have to mix and match. Um, I think I'll go like two celebrations, uh, maybe two or three Evolving Skies and a couple of Vivid Voltage. Bye. Bye. Okay, because this door is locked, right? Cannot open. So I'll just I'll just choose like that. Arc. Okay, first one. Why don't we just take the first pack? Should we take the first pack? Whole stack of PS is over here at the back. I'm just gonna choose my favorite. So we are at 42, and this leaves me with probably one last pack. So the VV Voltage are cheaper, 650. So I'm gonna add this booster pack as well. Okay, that's it for this box. I won't exceed the budget, but you can see over here so many choices. Y'all can come down here, box boss at Clementi Mall, premium collectibles outlet for your Pokemon cards fix. Making payment 46. So the amount due 4850. Okay, I'll just pass you pass you 50 dollars cash. Okay, so first stop done, I'm pretty happy with my selection and now let's head to West Mall. Alright guys, I really want to pass this $200 challenge. I know there's a negative stigma with booster packs from random box stores, but this is something we are trying to change as well. I know end of the day, it's all luck based, but if it's all clean right, then at least we should get some hits. I mean, it shouldn't be like all green. If it's really all the packs that I get are all green, then I must be super unlucky because the guys from Premium Collectibles told me that their products, their booster packs are replenished from fresh booster boxes or sealed products. Okay, so the selection is pretty much the same, which is a really good thing because there's consistency and there's really a huge variety of products that we can see here. And I love it, even the same promo cards at the back. Don't you hate it when you go to those random box, then there's barely anything left, like just booster bags thrown all over. Okay, so so you guys may be interested in the prices, okay? So I'll go through one by one. Darkness of Blaze 7, Base Set 750, Shining Fates 9, ES 8, CR 650 for CR. Hey, that's that's not bad. Uh, 14 for Champions Path. Celebrations would be 9. Battle Style 6. So I would say they are pretty updated with their prices and uh, VV Voltage 650. You know guys, to be honest, I'm not really that interested in celebrations anymore because I already got the master set. So I'll mix it up. Mm. Why? Why? Yeah, guys, 
guys, so I decided to go with Evomis guys. All Evomis guys packs, highest chance of AA. What can you say? Okay, that's a wrap. Let's make payment now. Okay, I'm now due 48. I'll cost you $50. Yeah, okay, $2, huh? Right. Okay, thank you so much. Welcome. Yeah, you can watch my YouTube. La. You, you, you have uh, Travis Flips. Uh, T R A V I S. Okay, second box down. Now I gotta go all the way to the east side of Singapore. So now I've arrived at our Tampanese hub and this is super cool. They even have a movie screening behind. But we are gonna find the premium collectible store here. This is the latest one that just opened. So hopefully we get extra lucky with the new store luck. All right, so we are here at Cube Sprout and check this out. This is premium collectibles box. Okay guys, so the distribution is slightly different. I don't see a lot of ES here. In fact, there's only one stack. I see quite a lot of uh, chilling rain, chilling pain. Of course, we got celebrations, fresh stock. And over here, they have some Japanese as well. But the back is all you can see consistent. Okay, okay, we're gonna change up our game plan. We're gonna get more Chilling Rain. I want that Ghost Snorlax. I want that Blaziken VMAX AA. I want the Galarian Birds. All right, I tell you what, every stupid move of the day again. I'm gonna go for some Gordo yeah. Styles. Yeah, I want that freaking Urshifu Alternate Arts or the Rainbow or the Go How Doom. Let's get it, let's get it. Bye. Bye. Okay, we are doing it for CR and for battle styles. This may be the best or worst decision I ever made. Okay, payment time. So total is 51, 60. Okay, uh, 50 dollar cash first, then uh, 160. Okay, and 60, 160. Okay, thank you. Okay, just left Cube Sprout. Now we are off to our last destination. Okay, I'm at White Sands now and the locker is over here where we have some last shop magic. Okay, so selection is pretty much the same. We have some Japanese over there. We have all your standard stuff. We have celebrations. I love this. They have the promo cards, Greninja and the Zard. So basically ES, there's only four ES left. Um, not much left for all these as well. Celebrations, there's quite a few decisions against guys yeah so i'm left with my last 50 let me make sure i spend this wisely okay y'all see that zart over there that zart pack is calling out for me i'm gonna take this oh there's seriously a lot of celebrations i think this box has the most celebrations i'm really not feeling the es there's just four over here maybe i'll just get one all right to make it 10. okay so i'll get one es okay lah, this es first pack magic let's get vivid as well bye, 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 bye. So this is what I'm getting, 1 SF, 2 Celebrations, uh, 1 ES and 2 VV. And right here the total is 48. So I'm just shy of 200, so I'll just get one more VV Voltage for prosperity's sake. Good luck guys. Alright, that's it. Close shop. It's been fun. How much again are the total? 54.50. 54.50, alright. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll give you uh, 50 first. Okay, and uh, 460 lah. Okay, thank you. All right, job done. We spent $200 on our booster packs. Now it's time to open them. Bye. All right, guys, it's time. So let's begin. So we got our packs over here. Clementi, Box Boss, West Mall, our Tampanese Hub, and White Sands. For an average booster box, there's about eight to 10 white coats and maybe eight hits in total. So that makes up about 0.22%. So for my case over here, right, I don't necessarily have to hit like an alternate art to prove that these are untempered packs. I just need an average of about six white coats. If we can get six white coats, then at least it's a pretty fair distribution. So let's begin, let's see whether I can and pass this $200 Pokemon cards challenge. Let's begin with celebrations first. So yeah, the truth is actually, if you guys follow my journey from the very start, I was very against like random box stores. Um, Y'all will have seen my, my TikTok viral videos that I, I just rage against all these random box stores. Okay, first, 
Dialga Paukia, OK Ho -O, and a professor research. And basically what happened, and I actually talked to the guys over at Premier Collectibles. Basically, there are so many random box stores in Singapore that if there is just one bad apple or two bad apple, it will spoil the entire impression of these random box stores. Let's not kid ourselves, there are people who are using underhand tactics or are just filtering packs. So what Premium Collectibles is really trying to change is this impression that all random box stores, all these booster packs are just filtered ones. And the fact that they dare to actually put their head out there in the a chopping block and in fact they asked me to do this video because that's how much the owner wants to change this negative stigma all right second pack so i can definitely respect that cosmog cos m uh, zekrom on a professor research guys i'm really not feeling celebration see this is what's gonna happen if i really touch wood touch wood and I'm, I'm, I'm touching wood then it's gonna further escalate the stigma so the fact that the guys over at premium collectibles are so confident that their packs are not filtered really builds that sense of trust for us as the customer as well oh white coat this is from oh this is from vivid voltage all right cool all right let's go white coat card see i i like the other sets other than celebrations i don't know wilmer cottony global Bull. so that was our first white coat whoa let's go guys let's go guys ag slash b whoo I actually breathe a sigh of relief for, for them actually. Wow, first one. Awesome. And from that one uh one pack magic. Oh my god. That's a good start right there. So the fact that they they, they dare to you know come up with this idea, go around the arena box. Of course, it's all premium collectibles boxes. We cannot say for other boxes, but this definitely helps to let you guys know and let me know that random box stores can be clean. They can be a convenient way of getting your packs as well and an enjoyable one. All right, guys. So let's continue. Clementy Outlet. It's time for some ES and this is what we are banking on with majority of the packs. If it's green, then I'm just gonna uh, review the reverse hollow. Okay, this is the one for Vivid. For celebrations, one. And for celebrations, the other one. Okay, first hit, I'll put it over here. Let's continue. ES. And how they really do their business, uh, from what I heard from the guys, is also... Wow, sheesh, man. It's, it's basically they replenish with fresh booster boxes or sealed products. There's no like filtering or changing or weighing or anything like that. All right, so I hope with this video, we can kind of let you guys know as well. Since this is technically a challenge, right? If I don't get over $200 in value, should I do a forfeit? I don't know, what do you guys think? And also, okay, so we are moving on to the second outlet and this is from Westmall where I whack basically six evolving skies, that's like a pot. Um, so basically last time I also asked like the sun and moon packs, right? Why were they transparent in my IG? And then we can even see the code cards and the owner actually came to clarify, yes, white code card, to clarify that, hey, um, it's because that they are aged, that they are super old uh, sets and booster packs and they were not filtered or whatever underhand tactics. It's just how it came about. We just stored them for many years. Uh, straight from the booster boxes but my so I, I like that as well you, you gotta give it up to them for coming out and defending their their turf so to speak because like those who are really doing some shady business right they'll have things to hide they'll just keep quiet oh galera motor so we are two white coat cards okay let's continue the best way to prove it right is to hit one vmax aa one alternate art that's the best way to prove but of course like we mentioned pokemon opening all this is largely luck based Okay, but at least that's why I say uh, at least I want to prove that we can get six, all right, which is an average uh, number of white coats for a booster pack. Okay, Pikachu. And I gotta thank you guys so much for actually sh sharing your strategies. Like $200 is, is quite a lot, to be honest, uh, to get so many packs. What the heck? This is evolving lies. Um, I heard them. I definitely heard them. And that's why I went for most of the ES packs finally. This is our third one, so we are halfway there to six white coats. All right, let's do it. AA time, hashtag Terrence Luck. I gotta say that, bag on. Love this, C dot, slack off, reverse hollow. Man, okay, I'm happy because it's a rainbow rare. It's an SR, and I think more or less I've proven that it's, it's good. The packs are legit. But you gave me a Garbodor Rainbow. All right, still, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. Ooh. 
at this point I think I might not pass the challenge but I just want to prove to you guys that we can get at least six white coats all right hey, is that another white oh yes Dino cutie fly and a Neuven V good nice so that's four we got four white coats did I show you guys? Yes, right. I said this. This may be my best or worst decision, guys. What is happening, Travis Lee? Man, all right. Oh, boring styles. I just need one. One. We just need one. This is the Urshifu. Yes. Yes, I got one. Bleep out. Oh, getting nervous now. And a Hollow Rest still leaks. Sheesh. Okay, and Polyon. More greens. At this point, I'm just banking on that one card. Okay, last one for battle styles. And it's a green. Chilling rain. Touch wood. I don't want to say much. All right, I'm pretty, okay. I'm pretty lucky with Sia, to be honest, recently. Okay, let my Sia luck continue. Okay, guys, so this is our sixth one. So we got at least the average um, number of white coats that you would expect. Farfetch. Another hollow rare. All right, all right. I need more guys. Green. And I just need one. One alternate art, guys. Zapdos packs of uh, ES. I think Zapdos packs are better. Can I say it? Chilling. Okay, last one. Last pack magic. Terrace. Luck! This is it. Come on, man. La Vesta, Sobo, Lediba, Kakuna. And a Tornadoes V. I will take this. I will take this. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we are at seven white coats already. Awesome. And our last batch. Okay, so this was a uh, white sands. Once again, guys, I hope that you guys see this. Y'all will. I mean, of course, you cannot expect alternate arts. La. The pool rates are low. But at least y'all will be assured that when you go to premium collectible boxes that you know is as legitimate as any other official retailer out there. They are ref official retailer, by the way. You can find out their Shopee links. Oh, speaking about the Shopee link, right? Watch till the end for exclusive discount code for you guys. All right. So this Zad was calling out to me. The first moment I saw it, I was like, okay, you spoke to me. I'm going to get you. Okay. White coat. So by the way, for, for Shining Face, it's all white coat. So we are not going to count into it. Okay, let's go. Rotom, Raster Shield, Elder Goss, Spinarak, Shinx, Horsey. <laughs> All right, Yemma. What is this? Mopeko. Woo! Nice baby shine. And a double hit. That's the way. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Impedim. Let's check this out. Close up. Wow, so cheeky. And I, but I love the coloration. And a full art trainer, bird keeper. Wow, nice. This is what I like. At least you don't get those packs that leaves a sour taste in your mouth. Like, ah, I feel like I got scammed. I, I feel that this is pretty legit because we have hit more than the average number of white coat cards for a booster pack. And we have still one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna rest on all these first. Celebrations. Let's continue. What is this, man? Just by and large, my celebrations, like loose packs, hasn't been very well. Like, see? Flying Pikachu, okay. Flying and surfing, coca for you guys. Sheesh! Let me hit the ES, lah. alright? Let me hit the ES. Okay, green. No more egg. <gasps> okay, okay, no worries, no worries. Last three, Vivid Voltage. Green code card, chance for amazing rare, nope. Second last pack, yes. White code card, always trust the monkey pack, guys. Okay, leaf, Garventula, Swallow, Leak Star, Picky Pack, Mud Bray, Jotic, Weedow, Halo, Leak Star. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Wow, this one is nice. This one is nice, guys. Look at that, Pokemon Center Lady. This is the first time I'm pulling it. Why full time, guys? Last pack magic, hashtag LPM, hashtag Terrace Luck. Oh, okay. All right, that's it. Okay, so overall, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. White coats from 27 packs. And these are not counting the celebrations or the shining fates, guys. So I can quite fairly say that the packs are legit, randomized. All right, hit still leaks. 
Single Strike Urshifu, Galarian Moltres, Tornadus V, Noivern V, Bird Keeper, a Double Hit Impedim, Rainbow Garbodor, Pokemon Center Lady, and an AG Slash. Rainbow Garbodor, Pokemon Center Lady, and an AG Slash. Once again, thank you so much Premium Collectibles for sponsoring this video and we truly hope that you can shop with confidence from their boxes knowing that their products are clean and fairly distributed. And be sure to use my exclusive Shopee discount code PREMFLIPS for 5% off your favourite Pokemon TCG products and accessories including celebrations, evolving skies as well as the much anticipated Fusion Strike set which will be released next Friday. And also check out Premium Collectibles 5th outlet inside North Point City which is is located at Box Boss Level 2. Thank you so much for your support guys and stay tuned for the next video where I challenge myself to turn a dollar coin into a greater slab within 24 hours.